Today we're going to climb the highest peak in Puerto Rico. And no, it's not El Junque. Otorcovis is a municipality in the center of the island. If you look at a map, you could be forgiven for thinking that it's not that far from the San Juan area. But as you head into the central mountains, the roads twist and turn and twist some more. You'll put lots of miles on your car without making much headway, but what awaits you in Otorcovis is well worth it. Toro Negro State Forest. Even the trip to the forest is an amazing experience because here in the municipality of Otokovis, it's a different world. Not only is it far out and it's country quiet, you have these amazing soaring vistas where the island just drops away on both sides of the highway and you can see for miles, but it's also very cool during the entire year. For example, right now down in San Juan, the people are roasting in like 95 degree heat and almost 100% humidity, but up here, it's about 75 degrees. Now, here's something many visitors don't know. You hear a lot about El Junque, the famous rainforest in the northeast of the island, which is, quote, the only rainforest in the U.S. National Forest System, which is true because it's a federal park. Many visitors go there, climb its highest peak of 3,543 feet, and assume they've been to the top of Puerto Rico. Not really. You see, although El Junque is high and spectacular, it's not the only rainforest in Puerto Rico, and it doesn't have the highest peak. That would be Cerro da Punta, which is in Toro Negro State Park. At 4,390 feet, it dwarfs El Junque by close to 1,000 feet. When you drive through the central mountain range, you don't just get to enjoy the cool mountain breezes. Keep your ears open for the refreshing waterfalls that dot the region. Many of them aren't even in guidebooks. All right, we are at the Salto Mete Miedo, which is Spanish for to cause fear. And when you stand where I'm standing and you look across this sudden valley down to this huge waterfall, you'll see why they called it that. But this is a place you're not gonna find on any guidebook or on any map. The only way to find this location is to get directions from a local. And what most locals are gonna tell you is, look for the wall of black rock. But that's kind of useless because we're in the central mountain range and the whole place is black rock. So we have a different landmark. Look for the white cross inside of a metal cage by the side of the road. Then find a safe place to pull over and walk up the hill to this little sort of bump here, and that's where you'll see it. The first stop is the Área Recreativa Doña Juana, which is the starting point of Vereda La Torre, one of the forest's easier hiking trails. But our sights are set higher. We want to reach the top of Puerto Rico's highest peak, so we'll need some sustenance first. Cabana Doña Juana is one of the best roadside stands in the area, just a few minutes from the entrance to the forest. Its food is made from scratch and roasted over a fire. It's only open Saturday, Sundays, and a few holidays. We're here in the parking lot of Cerro La Punta, which is the entrance to the trail to the highest peak in Puerto Rico. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon, it's sunny, it's very cool up here, and there are exactly three cars in the parking lot, including our own. You remember a moment ago I told you about El Junque, which is the national park, and it's the famous jungle of Puerto Rico. Well, you often hear that El Junque is the only rainforest in the U.S. National Forest Service, and that's true. However, this is part of Toro Negro, which is a state park, and as a state park, it actually has a higher peak than El Junque. This Toro Negro and this part of it, Cerro La Punta, is one of those parts of Puerto Rico that very few people know about. And it is one of the most spectacularly beautiful sights on the island. Well, the sweat is real. <laughs> we finally have reached almost the top of Cerro Punta. And all we have to do is take this staircase and we will be at the highest point in Puerto Rico. So come with me. One, two, three. Oh. Cerro da Punta's height makes for breathtaking vistas when the site isn't blocked by the clouds that roll in off the Caribbean Sea. It also doubles as a geek's paradise with all of its communications towers and transmitters. Well, here we are at the top of Puerto Rico. We are on top of Cerro da Punta, which is, as I mentioned, the peak, the roof, top, the it. And uh, unfortunately today, 
is a lot of fog up here because we're literally in the clouds right now. And sometimes when the clouds come apart, you can see for absolutely miles. Right now, it's pretty much just a white blank around us. One of the interesting things is on the way up, I mentioned that there's a lot of communications and radio towers up here. Well, it seems that the local Catholic radio station has a tower up here, and their signal is so strong that when we first tried to record this segment, uh, their signal was getting into our recorder somehow. You know how they always say on the label, this must accept any, any interference received? Well, it did. We actually had to take our recorder and put it into a hole in the ground inside of a metal tube to block the radio waves from the local Catholic radio station. Interesting. All kinds of creepy extraterrestrial things happen out here.